There's a memoir that's coming out uh, from the late Lisa Marie Presley and finished by her daughter, Riley Keough. And in that book, we've learned in the last 24 hours are tidbits that are like, excuse me, mostly I think the tidbit about how when her son died, Benjamin, tragically, she had him embalmed and then kept him in their home for two months. Wow. That's not usually how people handle death. No. Um, I mean, it's dead people. Yeah, that is a little bizarre. And um, <laughs> that's I, put it mildly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she literally had his embalmed body in a casita on her property for two months. They had to lower the temperature of the home to 50 some degrees. He had been embalmed. They brought him back from the funeral home. And while I think the story originates because there was some confusion or she hadn't yet come to terms with where to inter him, mm -hmm. I just feel like this is not a story you hear every day. It isn't. And, and I don't even know how, like, I have so many questions that are mostly inappropriate. Well, I just want to know, like, I'm in the mind of, like, the funeral home who is going to bury him at some point. And they're like, of course we can let you have time with him and we can bring him to the home. Every day, the people at the funeral home are like, do you think Lisa Marie's going to call today? Cause it's been, it's been 42 days, you know, just like, I mean, that alone would be like, Oh gosh, do we ask? Like, is this going to happen? Ultimately he is at Graceland, but yeah, just one yeah, of the I think things. When it's Lisa Marie, you're just like, well, I guess she's just going to, do what she's going to do. Yeah. So I'm going to And there to used the to be around, you know, there used to be around the dead. So I'm sure the funeral home. Probably they the probably don't get that done. request every day, but it's probably in the top 10 weird things. So I would say, well, I'm going to read the book. So I'll keep you abreast of the situation. Fabulous. Mike. Let's do some blind items. Yeah. Maybe it'll come up. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Uh, let's move on and uh, go to this one. The loudest celebs and PR teams for celebs we'll hear from in the next few weeks regarding the recent scandal are just the first ones who paid victims and work with the feds to keep their involvement under wraps. First up, this A-plus list couple. Oh, okay. So we're talking about Diddy. We did hear like that the people are settling with victims. So their name won't be out there, um, but this well, A-list couple. The attorney, uh, Tony Busby, says he'll be revealing names. So I'm excited. Wow. I excited, meaning like I'm grateful that we're going to learn uh, who these people are. What were you saying? Sorry. I was saying, or you, no, Mike, you were saying. Yeah, just the blind item is that the loudest celebs and PR teams for celebs that we'll be hearing from for the next few weeks regarding the Diddy scandal are just the ones who paid the victims and worked with the feds to keep their involvement under wraps. First up, this A-plus list couple. So clearly that is, I don't know if it's true, but for the purpose of the blind item, I think they're referring to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Which, oh God. God, I hope this is not true. So will Tony Busby be revealing these names? Like Jay-Z and Beyonce? Or so there's the feds who they've worked with to, you know, limit their involvement. So are they protected from their names being released, I wonder? I don't know. I mean, I think those are great questions. The blind item obviously thinks we're going to find out. But um, if we do find out, it's either from the federal government because there's a federal lawsuit against Diddy or it's from Tony Busby, who, to remind people, is the attorney that has is currently representing over 120 some claims against Diddy in a civil lawsuit that he is preparing to bring. Mm -hmm. Um I will say the blind items for years have talked about and really just tabloids and gossip have talked about Jay-Z uh, as being somehow involved. Like, clearly, we don't have any proof of that. But if if that's going to be the case, those those are the two ways we're going to find out. Yeah. And I will say the attorney for Jay-Z and Beyonce uh, are not is not happy right now and has come out and come after Piers Morgan 
because Piers Morgan actually had an individual named Jaguar Wright on who claims the couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce, have, quote, more victims than Diddy. Okay. Oh, so well, come on, Piers Morgan. Well, I'm just saying that was uh, as so the uh, attorney, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Alex Spiro, Spiro for the uh, Carters, uh, went on to uh, TMZ Live to kind of break down and basically say they are livid with that comparison and uh, have obviously a massive issue it's, with it. It's going to be hard right now because mm-hmm. there's going to be a lot of stuff. <laughs> I know that sounds oh. so oversimplified, but like truly, there, you're going to see a lot of crap you're going to see a lot of actual evidence and you're going to hear a lot of people talk about it so it i guess the moral of the story is just pay close attention to who the sources are giving you this information and if there is something to be worried about in terms of beyonce and jay-z i would assume it's going to come from the federal government like Mm -hmm. that's like somebody just squawking about it if there's no yeah legal process involved it's just a lot of gossip. Yeah. Right? I don't For know. sure. Yeah. Speaking of a lot of gossip, let's keep blinded by Which the is going on. Yeah, that's right. Let's move on to the next one, and we'll stay with, uh, unfortunately, that same situations and celebrity couples. Speaking of A-list couples, the reason the streamer has gone radio silent is because they caught wind of how the A-plus lister will be involved in the producer scandal, and it's just the latest reason things have been very intense between the two members of this couple. <laughs> I, I don't know this. Yeah, you do. I do? Speaking of A-list couples, the reason the streamer has gone radio silent is because they caught wind of how the A-plus lister will be involved in the producer scandal, and it's just the latest reason why things have been intense between these two. Somebody in the blinds was working real hard to make this happen. Is this Megan and Harry? The producer scandal... Yeah. Diddy. It's just another, yeah. Oh, oh. They're trying to connect the, uh, Megan and Harry with Diddy and oh. saying that Netflix uh, okay. All right. is a the, part of the discourse. The reason why That's Netflix why has gone radio silent on these projects that are supposed to be due out by the end of this year, and we still haven't heard a whisper oh, about either man. of them, uh, is because they caught wind of how, in this case, Harry is involved with the Diddy scandal, and it's just the latest reason things haven't been great between Harry and Megan. I don't know. It's the blind items. I'm just reading them. Yeah. I, you just I knew know. the blinds were going to say something. They're, They're not going to leave go Harry and Megan no, out of this. Of course not. Right? And ultimately, the one they will they blame went... her for it. <laughs> sure. Like she true. drove him away by her bitchiness. And then he went to these parties and hooked up with girls. I will say, uh, let's, uh, the, the, the sexism is already baked into this because we do know that Harry has been to Diddy's parties. We do. So without Megan, because this was years before he knew Megan. So like the right. like oh, okay. to try to connect Megan to this story sort of retroactively just tells you everything you need to know about the blind's attitudes towards Megan. Now, look, um, again, we're going to learn a lot. Some of it's not going to be true. So you got to pay close attention. But I do think Harry, again, he was he was at some of them parties. He probably saw some stuff. And let's not forget, we've also seen a whole lot of prince harry having yeah. fun at parties yeah. and i mean a whole lot oh when vegas? he was naked in vegas oh yeah remember from like a decade ago saw his bits his, yeah what's he called his todger mm-hmm. yes yeah frostbitten frostbitten yeah, todger. The todger remember, the, remember the great book spare yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember that great book spare i loved it that, yeah, that part especially <laughs> All right. Except for the cream that he borrowed from. That he said smelled like his mom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move on. That's your limit, huh? (laughs) You just talked about his wiener and then cream that smelled bad. I just don't know. He smelled like his mom. He said the ointment that was used. Elizabeth Arden cream, my mother. Let's not do that. (laughs) <laughs> we did. Uh, we have, or sorry, I should say, as we have learned, when the only source pushing a relationship this hard is this weekly publication, then it is absolutely a publication ship. That is certainly the case with this A minus list actor, soon to be higher on the list, and this A minus list singer, Nepo Baby. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we've got an A minus list, soon to be higher actor, and an A minus list singing, Nepo Baby. 
We are continually told about their relationship, all from the same weekly publication. Hmm. That might be the easiest part to get. Oh, so the weekly publication is People? There you go. And as we've learned in the blind items, when the only source pushing a relationship this hard yeah, is their people, people, then it's, it's their people. a relationship. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so the relationship they've been pushing on us with this guy. A minus list, soon to be higher actor and an A minus list singer, Nepo Baby. It's not that one guy, is it? It yeah. is that one guy. It You're is. exactly right. Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's that one guy and the abs guy. Girl. Yeah. It's the one guy and the one girl with the abs. Mm, I'm sure he has abs. This guy definitely has abs. No, he's that guy. Is he the singer or the actor? He's the actor. He's the actor. She's the singer. Sabrina Carpenter and Barry uh, Keoghan. Nope. Okay. It's not Barry Keoghan. It's that other guy, the the one from Mavericks, and he was with Glenn Sydney Powell. Sweeney, Glenn Powell. Not that one guy with abs. Okay, so it's not that one guy. Abs. You guys lied. No, it is that <gasps> one guy with abs, but not him. He's got abs. There's more than one guy with abs. Uh, Soon to be like no eight plus kidding. list. Soon is to be at least he's going to be oh, in Paul Mescal. Paul Mescal. And his A minus list singing Nepo yep. Baby yep. Girlfriend. Um, Vanessa Kirby. No, that's Pedro Pascal. Vanessa Kirby from The Crown? <laughs> that's from a long time ago. <laughs> she doesn't sing uh, at parties, maybe, but. Um, Paul Mescal. It's in my it's notes somewhere. Paul Mescal and. She is a singing Nepo Baby. She's a singing Nepo Baby. Was her parent a singer? No. An actor? No. The Nepo baby president of the United States? No. Sports? No. What? He was in one of those worlds you mentioned, but not as... Gracie Abrams, oh, daughter of J.J. Abrams. There, there you go. go. Nicely done, Gracie He's Abrams. Soul. Daughter of J.J. Abrams. Uh, filling in the blinds here, as we've learned on Blinded by the Item, when the only source pushing a relationship this hard is people, that is absolutely a publication ship, and that is certainly the case for Paul Mezcal and Gracie Abrams, as they just continue to say how cute the two of them look as they're out there on a stroll the same week. She's got a bunch of music uh, concerts yeah. coming up, and he's, he's promoting got Gladiator 2. When does that come out? Uh, November. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot either. Are you going to see Wicked first or Gladiator 2? Which comes out first? Uh, this is the... Are those the, the two? The 20th of November is Wicked. Okay, then then you're going to see Wicked first. Because okay. this is the 22nd. Okay. Oh. All right. Gone what comes out with... Wicked, by the way. No, I actually... She doesn't like it. Oh, no, they're both coming out the same. 22nd. Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's both the same, same weekend. Same weekend. Same weekend, yep. Yeah. Because remember, we were going to... Double feature! Wicked-ator. <laughs> yes, thank you yeah. for putting those together. We're going to try to do Gladiator. 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 Gladiated. Gladiated. <laughs> Glicked. There you go. Glicked. Gladiator. Glicked's pretty good. I like Glicked. Glicked's pretty good. <laughs> Glicked. So Maybe next... Jiminy Glick will do the interview. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> God, please. Sure. And then we got Moana 2 the next weekend. That's going to be a good time for movies. It is. It's going to be a good time. Mufasa, The Lion King, I think, is around that. Oh, that's the next month, but whatever. But you got the blind items nicely done. It is Paul Mezcal and Gracie Abrams. Did you see them? They look so cute walking out there well, together. I mean, they're beautiful people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hard-pressed to not look cute. Exactly. Good luck to them. Best of luck to them. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you know, the blind item here, if the former A-list musician thought they were in money trouble before, just wait until the SEC gets done with them. Their latest grift is uh, exploiting their fans. And well, it's illegal. Well, it's illegal. Wait, what? exploiting them? Like how? This former A-list musician thought, if this former A-list musician thought they were in financial trouble before, just wait until the SEC gets done with them. Their latest grift to exploit fans is illegal. Mm -hmm. Former A list Former singer, A list, -list, -list musician, who's got a grift. Who's got a grift that's apparently not seen positively by the SEC. Is it a he? SCC? Yes. And a drummer? No. A flautist. Guitarist. What? Bassist. Lead singer? What? Tambourinist. I mean, they're just a musician. They could be oh, okay. keyboard pianist. No, Michael Bublé. Yeah, there you go. It's Michael Bublé. No, um, the SEC coming down hard. Did he play the symbol. 
Um, Calliope? <laughs> You're getting or away as from call it. I mean, if you Calliope. 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 <laughs> yep, that's what the circus calls him. <laughs> and why do you know that? Because I lived in, in the town that he went to Barra Boobies. I clown college. Yeah. You didn't go to Clown College, though. I didn't actually go to Clown College. It wasn't the town exist, but I was in the town that used to home Clown College before it moved to Sarasota, Florida. Oh, bless them. Mm -hmm. I hope they'll be okay. Oh, yeah. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in Florida, especially those in the path of Hurricane Milton. Okay. So this former A list musician, musician is just literally anybody who makes music. So don't get so specific on having to play instruments. Mixing music, DJing. David Guetta. A little DJing, sure. Or you could just call this person a rapper. I don't care. It's just musician. Thank you. A list uh, -list rapper thought they were in financial trouble before. Just wait until the SEC gets done with them. Their latest grift to exploit fans is illegal. Oh. Offset? Is it yeah, very close? Cardi? Yeah. Oh, what is she, what is she doing? If Cardi B thought she had bad. financial trouble before, just wait till the SEC gets done with her for her latest grift to ex- that is exploiting fans. It's illegal. Can I interest you in the meme coin WAP? No. Oh. It's the latest cryptocurrency. The meme coin WAP. WAP. <laughs> I wonder what that stands for. Well, well yeah. It's been a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni in a pot that's a oh my god wait hold on Hi. what it's, it's just a song <laughs> um that's okay that is a toy that we have in the studio where you <laughs> don't can record, say toy you can record your voice into it and bradley re-recorded himself doing your head he just like took his cheek and went oh like God. that, but that's what it sounds like. Very juicy cheeks. Mm-hmm. That's what we heard. Well, apparently there's a new cryptocurrency on the market that's illegal, and the SEC is coming down on uh, Cardi B for it. Who talks her into this stuff? I don't know. I mean, come on, you've got to be like, well, I don't know. Hey, look, other people are doing that stuff, so she ain't alone. A lot of people <laughs> making money off that stuff. But if- isn't that over? No. Okay, I'm just so lost when it comes to that stuff. Maybe I just assume that other people are like, man, I don't care. Ew. It's big business, man. Big business. We are coming out with our own NFT and digital coin. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And it's called The Blinded. Uh Blinded by the BBTI coin. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like it. Leave us a note in the comments if you'd like to purchase our <laughs> Do not. <laughs> NFT, and then we'll get right on it. We'll yeah. send it to drop your research. cryptocurrency wallet. Yes, and we will definitely Venmo. What's your Venmo? Do anything on? badly, but oh my god! Yeah, people can Venmo me, and then I get in trouble and fired. So don't do that. Why would you get fired? People can I you. can't use we a podcast tips. to ask for money in what? my Venmo. What? What other blinds you got in there, Mike? Sorry, oh, I was just Mike, Mike is checking his Venmo. He's going to just put it up to the camera, but never mind. All right, let's move on to the next. Uh, I ain't ashamed to beg. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This season of the show will continue to tease that they are going to dig into the controversial organization. They won't. After the first screeners went out, they pulled it, and the A-list creator got strong-armed into cutting out most of the fashion designer's scenes. Oh, so there's a lot of moving parts here to this one. Okay, Let me go ahead and repeat heck? it one more time for you. The season of this season of the show will keep teasing that they're going to dig into the controversial organization. They won't. After the first screeners went out, they pulled it, and the A-list creator got strong-armed into cutting out most of the scenes featuring the fashion designer. It's not like a Scientology thing. It is absolutely okay. A Scientology well, I was thinking, thing. Uh, but then I'm like, d- so who's the fashion show? designer Scientologist? Is that what we're implying? Mm-hmm. The fashion designer is a Scientologist, or at least has adjacent some information about Scientology. Somebody that they maybe used to be in Scientology and yeah. they're very outspoken against it. Mm. Leah Remini? Uh, nope. This is a fashion designer. Yep. Okay. Is the show a reality Bill show? Blast. Like the a show is a reality runway? show. Yes. Bill Blast? No, it's a reality. It's show. a reality show. Is it about fashion? No. Oh, okay. Is it a family-based reality show? Nope. Okay. Christian Siriano or something. That's what I was gonna. Nope. 
Um, um, gosh, I just don't know my fashion design. Pierre Cardin. That guy in Canada. Think of the shows and A-list creators of reality shows that we talk about. The Kardashians. Oh, Andy Cohen. There's your A-lister. Oh, okay. Andy Cohen, but he's not the designer. No, no, no. And no. I don't so know if you're getting one of the housewives that. Was there you go. Oh, that's, a designer. Oh. that's basically okay. the part I needed you guys to get. I didn't know how deep you guys went into the Roni universe this season. You've been oh, watching no. the new Roni? Not any of the new. Okay. I don't know the new people. Real Housewives of New York. One of these casts is uh, Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, definitely know her name. Yes. yes. And yeah. they've been kind of continuing to. Um, promote that they're going to go down this whole storyline and maybe she's going to open up a little bit more about Scientology. They keep yeah, teasing until Scientology finds out. Well, that's exactly what the blind item is implying. The season of the sh this season of Roni continues to tease that they're going to dig into Scientology. They never will because after the first screeners of the season went out, they pulled it oh. and Andy Cohen was strong armed to cut out most of the scenes featuring <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, okay. So hmm. weird. You know, we used to think that he had all the power when it comes to housewives and anything that he had to do with Bravo. But now it's getting to be where I think he's having less and less power because of some dealings with, you know, lawsuits and, you know, the things that he sent over texts. And you're like, woo, bad judgment. I whether it's actually losing power, and again, this is not from my mind. This is from Brittany, who I trust when it comes to mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to Brittany everything. Real Housewives show on my talk it, daily. Yeah, she's played blind items a bunch of times, but she's basically said because of all these scandals, he's really had many opportunities to basically lose control mm -hmm. and basically right. be in a position where it's like, hey, we've had such bad scandals, we've had to lose seasons. They've had obviously the girls, the road, yeah, trip the one. road trip, yeah, because that, of uh, Leah Sweeney. Mm -hmm. There were some controversial other seasons as well that barely got to to actually be shown because of some of the terrible things that happened around them. So I think that's probably the other issue with him is just kind of like, you know, we don't want to, yeah, know, overstep our bounds here and Leah Mix Sweeney. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway. So there you go. Um, well, good luck to him. Best of luck to him. Yeah. And good luck to him. And ben. this season, if you're expecting to see anything about Scientology, because yeah. apparently you won't. I wouldn't rely on your trash reality TV to give you an in-depth insight into the world of Scientology. Let's yeah. do one final one. But you can rely on us. Let's move. Oh. <laughs> Let's maybe end on an, on an easy one and end on one that um, ends right where we began. Oh. If you think some of the stories coming out are crazy, you should have seen the draft from years ago that The Offspring wrote. Rumor has it it was insane and spoke to some unthinkable acts. I'm guessing mom threatened to sue, which is why that version never saw the light of day. Mm. Lisa Marie Presley. Yeah. Priscilla Presley. Priscilla. Yeah. There was more that's worse than... The tidbits or what we'll read in the book. According you... to the blind items, if you think the stories coming out about this upcoming memoir are crazy, you should have seen the draft from years ago that the offspring wrote. Rumor has it that they were uh, insane and spoke of some unthinkable acts. And uh, it's likely that uh, Priscilla Presley sued. And that is why we are not going to feature those in the final product. Man, I mean, you can totally see that. And I think Riley probably did her mom some favors post yeah uh passing mm -hmm. by removing a bunch of stuff that would not have probably painted her in the light she thought mm. by including them yeah that's really confusing because i've always had in my mind what priscilla presley was like she was a basically a teen and you know and just like had this affection for her that she was put in a weird position being with Elvis just as like a 14 year old. And so now this whole like weird Priscilla thing now is just, I don't know. It's like, it's weird. More shall be revealed as it is every weekday here on the Blinded by the Item program you're listening to, which we're on the radio on my talk. We've got our very own podcast wherever you get those. You can like and subscribe. And we've also got our very own YouTube channel so you can see where all this magic happens. All you have to do is like and subscribe and tell all your friends about Blinded, Blinded by, by the, the Item. item. Blinded by the item, item.